All right, there we go. Now, yes, it's working. Can you give me this? Thanks. What's up, YouTube? So, here we are. I got a new device, so I'm just setting it up because you guys recommended me this. And wait, there we go. Plug it on the phone, slide it in a little bit. Whoa, and there we go. Now turn it on. And yeah. All right, guys, do you see something new here? Look how stable this filming is. Look, I can over jump, jump over stuff. How stable is this right now? Wow, so much better. So today we are here in Aispo, Park des Nesois in Lisbon. And I'm gonna use these rails to teach you something. It's gonna be the lazy vault and the thief vault. So you guys get two tutorials in one video, right? So yeah, I was planning this live for a while today and then the phone just started to film like this. So I had to restart the live. I'm sorry guys for this, but hello, Robly, what's up? And yeah, we're gonna leave this here training again. Boop, see? <coughs> Hello. <laughs> and Andre is gonna film me. He's a little bit sick. <laughs> All right, so let's turn this around. And Andre takes the lead of the camera. Book. All right. Hello, chavals. So. Today, you guys are going to learn the lazy vault and the thief vault, which is our super easy techniques for beginners. And it's the easiest, one of the easiest ways to overcome an obstacle, like this rail or a, a wall. You can do it in a wall or in a rail. I recommend you to find a wall, more or less the height of your hips, you know, like your leg height. So you can easily learn this move. A rail, for me, it's easier because you can hold and you can control better the direction you're going and you can pull yourself up a little bit but yeah so i'm going to show you what it is and then i'm going to explain step by step This is a lazy vault and now I'm going to show you the thief vault and I'm going to explain you later what are the differences and why one and why another, okay? This is the thief vault. <laughs> so, alright, let's go step by step on the lazy vault. Step number one is the takeoff. You gotta have a good takeoff in order to do this move, perform this move in the right way. So for the takeoff, come closer. This is windy, stop it, stop it. Takeoff, you want to have, the for example, if you go to the left, you're gonna grab the rail or the wall with your left hand, like this. Not like this, and like this, exactly like this, okay? So. The opposite leg of your hand is going to be in front, like this, okay? So, I'm leaning forward, you put this leg, okay? So you have, you're going to have space for swing this leg, okay? This is how is this, the, this is the takeoff for this move, it's basically this. Swing, and then you're going to swing the leg you're gonna swing the leg diagonal over the rail, all right? So, whoop, like you're sitting on top of the rail. And then the other leg follows. This is step number two, the re-grab. After the legs pass the obstacle to the other side, you're gonna re-grab with the hand like this. Not like this, like this. So you can stop the, the movement that way and you can control the direction you wanna go after. So after you pass the, the rail, you're gonna have to worry about the take of the landing. So the landing you wanna land with the same foot as you swing first. So you swing the left, you land the left. If you swing to the right, you land on the right first, okay? We're gonna explain to the right now. So the right, you put the left leg in front, the right leg in back for the swing. You're gonna need the kick, the swing, and you're gonna hold like this. You swing, switch legs, put this hand here. Look, the hand here is really important because 
If you don't put the second hand, you might end up like losing your balance. And if you do it in a higher place, you're gonna fall, okay? So remember, second hand, no matter which side, you have to put the second hand always. After you put the second hand, remember, this this was the leg, so I'm doing again. This is the first leg, tuk, tuk. You just land like a run. Unless, if you do this move from a higher place, so, for example, I'm gonna do it there, so you're gonna see. You're gonna land both legs so you can absorb the impact. I'm gonna do it just next to her. Right? So this is the only way that you land both legs, otherwise you just land one leg at a time. Okay? So I'm gonna do a few more, so in case you miss it, you're gonna see how is the lazy ball. So I'm going to do to the left side first, and then I'm going to this side. So each side of I'm going, it's right or left, so you can see both. Which one are the scenes put in? Yeah, feels good in my Alright. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but in the second vault, I, the last vault I did, I did a tiff fall. Which are the difference between lazy and the tiff fall? My favorite one from these two is the tiff fall, no doubt, because it's way more useful, faster, and easier to do if you're running. Okay? So come closer. Let's imagine you want to do the tiff fall for the left side, like the lazy. It's exactly the same but different leg on front. So basically, you have the hand like the lazy. And you're the lazy, you're gonna have this leg here, right? For the teeth fold, you want this leg in front. So you're gonna kick over, like swinging your leg through the, over the rail, okay? Like this. Okay? So, for, for doing this move, the first step, the takeoff, opposite leg, the closest leg to the obstacle, on the obstacle, opposite leg away, then you kick it over, kick it over, swing it through, and after you pass the leg to the other side, this leg is gonna follow in this position. You're gonna just hide your leg so it can can go like this. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how it's in mid-air, how you're gonna do the, the switch of the legs. Okay? Look, and the first leg, first leg to kick is also the leg is gonna land, okay? Look again, tip ball. Okay? So, don't forget, you have to cross leg and switch the legs. Look again. To this side. Okay? Guys, don't forget to practice these moves for both sides. Because it's important, sometimes you have a rail on the left, but sometimes you have it on the right. And it's good if you can do it both sides, okay? I'm gonna show you now uh, the tiff bolt for both sides, just on front so you can see the absorber a little bit more. Okay? So, any questions about this move? I can take over from now, let me see. If you guys have any questions about the lazy vault and the teeth vault, just don't worry, just you can make them now, because I'm here, <laughs> just did one with one arm and almost lose my balance. So if you guys have any questions, don't, don't hesitate. Teeth vault can be done at ledges also. Yes, you can do it in, like I said, you can do it in rails, you can do it in a wall, or even if, you can even do it over a big wall. I'm gonna show you, there is a big wall over there. I'm gonna go there with Lisa, she's doing a tic tac pre. And I'm gonna show you lazy vaults and teeth vaults uh, on bigger edges because I just show you in a rail and I'm gonna show you in a larger scale. And look at this place, by the way. It's also a cool spot. Look, you have the river which is overexposed now. Let me point it more up so you can see. Yeah. You have the river and this architecture is really nice. It's good for pictures here and good for training. Liz is here doing the tic-tac. Let me just switch around. 
<laughs> and there she is. Where are you from? <laughs> You're from Austria? Yeah, I forgot. Last time I said Lisa was from Germany, she's from Austria. I'm sorry. Yeah, it uh, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna come here to show a lazy vault over the, the fat wall. But anyway, I'm gonna try the gimbal. Oi, oi, oi. I, I did shit job with the gimbal. That's Wait. all right. <laughs> I'm trying to reset the gimbal. Come on, gimbal. She doesn't want to reset. Okay, I force it to reset. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna show you guys the lazy vault over a fat wall. Look, this new gimbal also has a tripod. So I can just put it here and go and show you guys how is the lazy wall. So from behind. Took. Yeah. Yeah. Now, thief bolt. Lazy bolt. See, you can do it anywhere. Doesn't matter if it's fat, if it's not fat. You can always do it. Let me try this tic tac with the gimbal on the hand. I'm gonna tic tac with the gimbal on hand just to see if the phone doesn't fall away. So let me point down a little bit. That's the tic tac and that's the pre. Yes, but <laughs> I cannot film down. It's not so easy to control. All right, I'm gonna go back to the rails. <laughs> See you in a bit. All right, guys, any questions, don't forget, I'm still here. And thank you guys for watching and making part of this project. Every day, a live stream. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm gonna do coaching tips, which is just teaching you guys techniques, workouts, parkour questions that you have. Just hit them in the comments because I can think about n new episodes. And every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, I'm doing live streams of lifestyle. So I'm gonna be training with people around me or even alone. And you guys can make part of it, make me some company, helping me to, with challenges, and I can help you to progress as well. So don't forget, hit the notification uh, button because you will know when I'm live, so you don't miss these live streams. And what was the question right now? How to get power for both in precision. Yes. All the, all the questions you have for next episodes, just hit them in the comments of the actual video, not on the lifestyle uh, text box, so I can actually see them and write down and then I can uh, make episodes about this. So see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoy it. Leave me feedback so I know what I can make better. I know the sound quality is still not great, but I already improved with the gimbal, see? Now it's much more smooth. So next, next improvement is going to be the mic so you guys can hear me talking perfectly. So subscribe for next time and see you guys later.